Hello friends, this video on electric current and its effects part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now talk about yet another interesting fact. I have been telling you that since current flows through the circuit, that is why the bulb glows. Now, what is it in the bulb that makes it glow? What is it that is glowing because of which we are able to get so much of light from the bulb? So there in that important part of the bulb is the filament. So filament is actually a thin wire which glows when current passes through it. So just try to observe the bulb. So you will see a wire like this inside. So this wire is nothing but the filament and this filament is made up of a material which when heated produces sufficient light. Now any metal needs to be heated sufficiently before it starts emitting visible light. Now in that case we just cannot use any metal to be used as filament of the bulb because most of the metals when you start heating them they will melt after a certain point of time. So therefore we need to choose a metal which has a very very high melting point. So if, I, if it has a very high melting point that means it will melt only at a very very high temperature. Right? So therefore, the filament of the bulb is made up of a metal called tungsten and which property of tungsten attracted it to uh, form the filament of the bulb? It's very high melting point. However, there is a disadvantage also associated with tungsten that it can catch fire very easily at such high temperature in presence of oxygen. So, in, you know, it, it's like since it is able to, it, it has been heated too much. So, there are, if, if a little bit of oxygen is present, it will catch fire. And that is why this filament is sealed inside a chamber and this chamber, a glass chamber which you see outside the bulb. So, that is the glass chamber and it is ensured that this chamber is free of oxygen because if a little bit of oxygen also reaches this chamber then the filament will burst and it will catch fire right so i hope this is clear because this is something very interesting and important as well so now whenever you look at a bulb you know that what is that wire inside the bulb and why is it there and what is the that what is that wire made of it is actually the metal tungsten which has a very high melting point so even before it can reach that temperature where it starts melting before that only it starts emitting visible light and that's how the bulb emits light now what happens in case of a fused bulb? I am sure now with the picture itself you are able to understand. Now in a fused bulb this filament breaks. So due to the broken filament even though the circuit is complete. So the current is flowing through the circuit but when the current tries to flow through this filament of the bulb the path is not complete. So therefore the current is not able to flow and as a result the bulb doesn't glow. So a bulb is said to be fused when the filament is broken. So that is another important thing. So whenever the bulb in your house is not working, so before you call an electrician to check the electrical circuits of the house, first you need to check if the bulb is fine, if the filament of the bulb is proper because many a times the bulb get fused. So in that case you can change the bulb and then everything starts working fine. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.